What's up, everybody? This is C A R L O S Carlos, and today we're doing a video uh, that I told you guys in the community tab that I was gonna do top tens because we're already in this end of the year. It's that time, and I really wanted to do a top ten this year on Funko Pops. So, yeah, we're doing the top ten common anime Funko Pops that were released this year. We're starting, it's from January, or actually December, this, that week of December, I believe the same week as right now we are, the exact same week, Christmas Day week, till now, to the Christmas Day week as well of this year. So, there was 11 anime waves this year to my hero academia, Fire Force, Yu-Gi-Oh, Fairytale, Tokyo Ghoulry, Black Clover, Boruto, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Attack on Titan, and Jujutsu Kaisen. That's a lot of comments to go around. So, I thought it was going to be easy top 10 for me. And I found out it was going to be difficult because we had plenty of plenty new anime Funko Pops um, that Funko had got permission to make their anime into Funko Pops like Fire Force, Black Clover, Tokyo Ghoulry, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and Jujutsu Kaisen. These were the five newest Pops and they're common. First time ever having a fungal pop. So, I thought it was going to be easy. And then I found out, oh yeah, there's five, like, first waves this year. And the other six is their second, third, or fourth wave. So, it was not going to be difficult with those. But it was going to be very difficult with these five new first waves. I was having a hard time picking my top ten. Uh... But I had to get some help. I have finally found the top 10. My opinion, my top 10. Uh, tell me to comment down below your top 10 common pops. And what of these 11 waves you enjoyed from Funko making, like, especially these comments. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. We're going to start with the honorable mentions so we're gonna start from the first ever wave that came out the my hero academia uh wave from last year by the end uh, at the end of last year we had anjiro edro unbreakable red riot i enjoyed that common Way better than the Metallic GameStop exclusive. Uh, but that's m uh, my opinion. I don't know if you guys prefer the common prefer than the Metallic. I know the color the coloring was a little off on the Metallic. And that's why I didn't like that one. I enjoyed more the common. Because the coloring was way much better. In my opinion. Um, then. Another honorable mention. Was... From the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wave, Toon, Dragon, I really enjoyed that pop. Came in a book. When you look at the base stand, it had some amazing detail on the book cover. Um, the lettering on the book. And then the dragon on top of the book. It, it's amazing. Toon Dragon was amazing. Um, common that they made from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wave. And I like the detail. I was not expecting Funko was going to put that detail on the cover of the book on the very bottom of the pop. So, good on you, Funko. Another honorable mention. This from the Fairytale Wave. We had a Loxus. I really enjoyed Loxus um, pop. They then went with his first look with the um, headphones and electricity. But... The one they chose was amazing. I like his fur coat. 
the detail on the fur coat and the lightning that he had on his hand. They did an amazing job of getting that fur coat. I already thought they were not going to do the fur coat. I thought it was just him in a bad new pose. But they did an amazing job on getting that detailed fur coat. Next up, another honorable mention from Boruto. Kawaki. I enjoyed Kawaki's fungal, common fungal pot than the Hot Topic one. We all know what happened. If you haven't seen my video, check it out. And everyone knows why. We, well, it's a good design. Design-wise, it's amazing. But f what they were going for was not well put by Funko. And yeah, <laughs> people were mad. And I was uh, I was a little bit disappointed on it. But the comment of Kawaki is amazing. Everyone wanted Kawaki as a Funko Pop. Because manga readers knew Kawaki was going to be an amazing character. And for us anime watchers, we started to enjoy Kawaki as a character. Next up in the honorable mentions, we had Black Clover, you know. Yeah, I really enjoyed Yuno's Funko Pop. Uh, Asta as well. But, man, Yuno Pop was... Uh, a little bit executed more better with his pose. Feel like he really gonna do an attack. Asta pose was amazing too, but I don't know. But if I liked it a little bit more of you know's pop, but I like Asta and you know pops, common pop. But anyways, the Black Lord had an amazing common pop. So next up, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We had some amazing common pops as well. Um. Honorable mentions we have Riza and I already thought we were going to have an uh, action pose for Riza, uh, Riza Hawkeye with the with her weapon. But we have a pop with her holding the dog. Um, so the little pup. So I was happy about fun uh, the direction Funko went for the common with the pup. Uh, so that was on honorable mention. Honorable mention from the new from the next My Hero Academia wave. We had two waves this year. Uh, Hawks, everyone wanted Hawks. I enjoyed Hawks as a character, and I really wanted a pop of it. Uh, and yeah. Funko brought gave us two, one for exclusive and one common. I prefer the common a bit more than the Chalice Collectible exclusive, but that's my just my opinion. It just the com uh, the Chalice Collectible exclusive looks very similar to the Inosuke flocked uh, Chalice Collectible exclusives. It's a little bit too close with the pose. And I prefer the common just because the pose is a bit different. And he always has that one feather that he always used to attack. He never usually used to in the anime. Maybe I'm wrong, but I usually see him with just one. And I like the common a little bit more than the Chalice Collectibles. Uh, Fungal Pop. But that's just my uh, opinion. Also, an honorable mention... Um, uh, fat gun, slim form. I really enjoy that pop. Uh, the bruises. Him and his slim form. We we're, were not expecting that one to be a common. But for people who didn't get the original fat gun, we're very happy to have this one as a common. Because they had a chance to have fat gum in their collection. And it was an amazing looking pop as well. Next up, we got Attack on Titan. We had Mikasa, Common Pop, that I liked. And it was a huge improvement from the very first mold of Mikasa. And it needed a new mold for Attack on Titan with these um, characters, Aaron and Mikasa. And yeah, they delivered on making it like more to their character, 
with their expression with the eyebrows because in the con in the their first mode they didn't have their eyebrows so it's kind of motionless motionless and it put more character into these pops with the eyebrows so and then we had Jujutsu Kaisen who were expecting it to release by the beginning of next year but it came sooner than we expected and uh, well, a little bit sooner than expected. Uh, but Itchidori, I enjoyed the look of the comment of its story than the exclusive ones. That was just me because I like the black flash attack. Like, they did that amazing attack on the common. And it really wanted me to get the common first than any of the exclusive. I like the other ones, but the Black Flash is, is something, man. They they captured Funko captured it in, in an amazing way. Um, but yeah, I put in an honorable mention just because I don't know how the glow in the dark would be uh, would look like. So yeah, I, I just put in an honorable mention. I already wanted to put in the top ten, but. I just gotta wait until that glow in the dark one comes out. And then I'll be like, hey, I was wrong. I should have put the common one in the top 10. But, yeah, those were the honorable mentions. And now we're going straight into the top 10. And we're starting off with. Wait, before I go to the top 10, I just remembered I forgot about the Naruto wave that makes 12 waves. In this year, uh, and the honorable mention in that wave was uh, the eight gate, uh, my guy. Uh, I put in an honorable mention just because I can't wait to check that glow in the dark from Chalice Collectible, and I feel like they're gonna execute it good. But we will see. Also, an honorable mention from that wave was Marada Uchiha, and Yes, I also put an honorable mention because the glow in the dark of the game stuff. So, I forgot to add that, um, to put that before top 10. But thank goodness I was able to figure, uh, to remember that that wave was also in this year's. So, let's get back into the top 10, top 10. So, we're starting on top 10. On number 10, we have Maki from Fire Force. I like this pop. Uh, it really captured Maki. Uh, her outfit, her uh, two fire buddy. Uh, believe their names are the flames are called Sputter. Uh, I had to check it up. The Sputter, her second gen, uh, second generation pyrokinetic. Um, user she makes two little for uh, sputters as they said little flame balls and it really captured her in that one episode i forgot what episode it was but it really captured her as a character i really wish they do a glow in the dark one of this pop i really wanted if they kept with the same mold it'd be amazing or a different mold but i would love to have those two sputters and her glow in the dark kiss. And the eyes. Funko did an amazing job. I think that was the first ever anime. Uh, for the first, the, Actually the first Funko Pops. That had cut her eyes. And Fire Force comments. Were all color eyed. Except Iris. Because she doesn't have pyrokinetic powers. As I said in the unboxing videos. Uh, for uh, I believe it was Tamaki. Or it was Princess Sibana. But. Yeah, that was an amazing thing that Funko did was the color eyes, and now they're going to do it for the Demon Slayer. And I'm still a little bit mad they didn't put pink eyes on Nezuko, but that's another story. Anyways, I enjoyed this common pop of Maki. They did a fantastic job. I just wish it would have been a glow in the dark. And now we're going to go to number nine. On the number nine spot, we have a scar for Full of Alchemist Brotherhood. Scar, they did an amazing job on Scar. They captured the scar in his for on his head, 
very well in fungal form. Also, the hair, him doing uh, the action pose of him taking off the robe, ready to attack with alchemy on his right hand and holding the robe or the cloak on his left hand. Amazing action pose. I just wish Funko put the tattoos on his arms because I know Scar had tattoos in his arms and someone comment down below when I did the Scar unboxing video that yes, he had tattoos on both of his arms and I believe it was some kind of alchemy. I know one is uh, the alchemy that the Ulrich brother used and the other one was a alchemy that his brother learned so yeah i knew he had tattoos on his arm i just didn't know if i was correct or wrong but a viewer just told me about it in the comments down below telling me i was correct and he's on his arm so very happy i was that i knew i was going i was correct so yeah amazing funk uh common pop from the full man alchemist brotherhood wave now we're going to number eight, top eight, number eight, number eight. And this from the Jujutsu Kaisen wave. Megamine. Megamine with his dog. Like, I was not expecting Funka to have that as a common for Jujutsu Kaisen for Megamine. I thought he was just going to do the pose, and I was not going to be aware that Funko was going to add his dog next to him. It's an amazing pop. It's shadow technique. I know it's, I know it was something, I knew it was not, but Divine Dog is uh, one of the um, uh, techniques that he uh, secret. It's a uh, shadow technique. It's one of the, the, uh, the shadow technique. And he summons the divine dog, also toads, and many other uh, animals. I believe a hog as well. But I was not expecting Funka to have the divine dog with him. I thought he was just going to be uh, doing the technique, and like nothing would be next to him. Not, not, no dog, no divine dog, no toads, no nothing. But Funko surprises with. Him having his divine dog next to him. And I was expecting two. But a one. It's better than none. As you can see. So. Yeah. What an amazing comment pop. Uh, as I said. I was going to play Dory With a black flash. But. that glow, I'm still waiting for that glow in the dark. Um, GameStop exclusive. And I can't say. If it's going to be looking better. Or not. So. But make me. I know I was going to enjoy. Um, his pop. Because. Just the divine dog alone. And I can't wait for that. Um, the toads that he has. But I prefer the divine dog one. A little bit more than the toads. And the Barnes and Noble exclusive. But. That's just my opinion. Uh, I'll say. What are you guys opinion? Tell me in the comment down below. Because I really want to hear you guys opinions. On my top 10. And what are you guys top 10 common pops. So anyways. To number 7. Yes number 7. And this is from, actually, that missed number nine. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Actually, I messed up. Actually, number nine was Jalaw. And I went to seven for some reason. So, my bad. So, this is number nine. This is number nine. I skipped number... I went to straight to number seven. That was number nine. So number seven was Scar. Number nine is Jala. Uh, this for the um, fairy tale newest wave, Jala. People wanted this Funko Pop because uh, we had an urge of pop, and many of the shippers from the fairy tale community really wanted Jala because if they had an urge of Scarlet Funko Pop, they wanted Jala just because the ship. But also, it's an amazing pop. Uh, they did very well, Funko, on capturing the marks that he has in his face. And the clothing. They did an amazing job, Funko, on getting the details from that Funko pop. 
uh, yeah, that was supposed to be number nine. Uh, so, yeah, my bad. I'll try. I'm sorry. I messed up. My bad. That was supposed to be number nine. Number eight was Megamine. Number seven, Scar. Okay, my bad. Now, number six. We're getting this correctly. Because I don't know why the seven like nine, but a nine. But anyways, number six. This is from the Attack on Time Common Wave. And that's Aaron Jaeger. Aaron Jaeger. Funko. Made another comic pop of Aaron Jaeger. And it was about time for Funko to make another mold of this pop. Just like Mikasa Ackerman. And they deliver well with this pop mold. I enjoy the character is the correct character uh the character design for this pop the eyebrows give so much emotion to this pop that the previous first mold Aaron Jaeger pop didn't have it was motionless it had no emotion with this pop, it has emotion, and he's on attack pose, ready to attack a Titan, because he hates Titans. And the first pop, it didn't look like he hates Titans. He looked like a, a regular citizen. No, he was not happy. He was not angry. He was just Aaron. <laughs> but this pop put more emotion just because of the eyebrows. And the coloring of the Funko Pop is a little bit more closer, close to the look of the anime. So, Funko, they've been upgrading. They've been listening. They've been looking more closely on these Funko Pop characters. And I'm giving them props for that. Because they did an amazing job with Aaron Yeager, newest common pop. And I bet you guys want a added this in your collection if you guys didn't have that first Aaron Jaeger um pop that came way way like years ago and this one was cheaper to have in your collection than wasting a lot of money on the first mold and I like this mold a little bit better just because it's more motion in this pop than the first one so yeah that's my thoughts. Now, to number five. We have, from this is the wave, um, this is from a wave that I didn't put in any um, other pops in the honorable mention. But this one had to be in the top ten. Number five, Heise, Heise, or um, Ken Carnegie's uh, alternative, or utter ego or utter we caught it not ego but his other side of Ken Konki as a whole as a whole I say this pop they did an amazing job on this pop this was the only pop that sold out in many stores and I'm very surprised that I was expecting most of the wave or most of the con to be sold out as well for Tokyo Ghoul fans. But to my surprise, the other comments never sold out. They're still in store. And you can still maybe find them in your local store. But Heise, good luck trying to find him. Cause he's the one that the one pop everyone went after. Cause Ken Carnegie Funko Pop. It has been out for a long time, and you know the prices are very high for that pop. So this is a better alternative for people who don't want to waste too much money. But this character design is amazing. It goes very well to the design from Tokyo Gori, and he looks very different from Ken Kaneki in the first Tokyo Ghoul series. Tokyo Ghoulry is a year later from Tokyo Ghoul, I believe. So, 
I haven't read, I haven't seen the anime because I know people are hating on the anime and they, and everyone who, who are Tokyo Ghoul fans, they say, don't watch the anime, read the manga for Tokyo Ghoul Re. So, and they did an amazing job capturing the character, the sword that he has. Like, they did an amazing job on this pop. I went up, put in honorable mention. But I did not like the glow. The glow should have been red. And they put it in the green. And yeah, I didn't like the glow in the dark being green. I preferred it red. You know, it goes well much better with the red. Because his eye is red. But I don't know why Funko went to the green. Uh, but yeah. Wait, that's my dots. I prefer the common over the exclusive. Uh, yeah. So, now to number four. On the number four spot from Black Clover. I talked about it a bit. And I'm talking about the Noel Funko Pop. This common is amazing. The Grimoire does not look like it's bothering me when you're unboxing it. When you unbox it, this is the one Funko Pop that doesn't look the grim that the one grimoire that doesn't look out of place, or they try to force it on the character. Like you know, it's part of the uh, of its left or right foot, the grimoire. While Asta, I believe, is similar to the leg as well. So it kind of bothers me when it's out of box but if you want a pop that's good for outer box out of box and in box noel takes the cake and the well and the, the design reminds me of that one op from opening four uh when she does that attack in the opening it, uh, it totally captures that scene like when i see that pop it reminds me all the time of that opening four visual like they did an amazing job on this pop. Uh, kudos to Fungo. They, I, I really enjoy Fungo for doing this wave. They're doing an amazing job on Black Clover overall. That you gotta keep collecting because it's very unique characters all around. They're not doing the same character over and over and over like some series. But some they do need to, or like. Aaron Yeager, they had to do another one of that character because it's been a long time. But there's been like Tanjiro's, Deku's, that they need to calm down for a bit. But they doing an amazing job with Black Clover. And yeah, I got to get proper to Funko. Now, we're finally in the top three. Top three. And let's get into it. Because number three, we got. Tamaki from My Hero Academia first is the first wave that came out of that of this past year. They did an amazing um, design. Him using multiple quirks, uh, using his quirk and having different parts of his body of different of different food that he ate with the squid. The clam, the claw, the hawk or chicken foot, the wings, the uh, his hero suit, the cape, like Funko did an amazing job on this pop, and it's a common. Most of the comments don't have them using their quirks, and Funko made that happen with this wave. Not with Tamaki, but another pop that will be coming up soon. But they did an amazing job, Funko. Amazing job, different pop. I was not expecting them to do that with Tamaki. I really thought he was going to be not using this quirk on the pop, but they delivered on him using this quirk on the common, especially on the common pop. I was not expecting that from Funko, so. 
kudos to you, Fungo. So, now, to number two. As I said, that was not the only pup that used their quirk in that wave. Mirio Hero Suit. Amazing. Him using his permeation. As I, I, I talked about it in the unboxing video. Of him using the permeation quirk. And his Funko Pop. Amazing job. They did an amazing job on these two characters. Tamaki and um, Mirio. They did an amazing job on having these common pops. Using their quirks. And the permeation is amazing. With that one um, spike. And he's using permeation on his foot. And I believe in one of the sense. They did an amazing job. I was going to put in honorable mentions if the glow in the dark, but I don't like the glow in the dark. It, I don't think why Funko made the glow in the dark of that one. It really didn't deserve a glow in the dark. That's my opinion. We have finally made it to the top. Number one. Number one. On the number one spot, we have the Pharaoh Yukio. Him on the pedestal. Funko did an amazing job on having this one. They did an amazing job. I was not expecting that one to be a common. I was expecting that to be exclusive. But Funko said, nah, it's going to be a common. That was the first pop that ever sold out in every website. The Pharaoh was the one that sold out. I couldn't believe it. It sold out. I was like, man, I really wanted to get that one. Uh, you can see, I haven't seen it in the stores, actually. I really haven't seen the stores. I don't know if you guys have seen it in the stores, but I really wanted to see it up close because, yo, just by the design, it looks amazing. Like, I really wanted to get it, and it's pretty, um, like, 30 bucks, but it's a common. I was not expecting a common pop like that, so kudos to Funko on that. And that's the end of top. Um, top 10 common anime Funko Pops. What are you guys' thoughts? Tell me in the comment below. And what are you guys' opinion? Did you like it? You didn't like my list? Tell me in the comment below. And what would you put in your top 10 of your common pops? And that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe, and not subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video to upload. Adios.